And welcome to Crits and Nits, or Nits and Nits, as we are tonight. Hi! Hello. Hello. How's everyone doing? Living the dream. Always, uh, always. I'm doing all right. I just got back from Vegas, so I'm just kind of like, you know, I guess I'm basking in the glow of Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> doing the whole re-entry thing? Yeah. 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 I am uh, dealing with the aftermath of a back spasm yesterday, so that's fun. Welcome to my world. Uh, I hoped I would get away without it, but, you know, it's okay. But hey, we're not here to talk about me being old. <laughs> yeah, we're here to talk about all of us being old, including <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, hush, you two. <laughs> Correct. Do you, do you see all this? White hair. Hello, my friend. <laughs> I found three gray chest hairs today. I might be dying. Were they on you or did they? <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, they were, in fact, on my chest, growing out of my chest. Okay, like, all right. Oh, that was my next question. And I was like, boss is dust. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I... Uh... Do be life in. Yeah. Right. I'm feeling not as old as I was earlier. My dermatologist today told me that I've got wonderful skin for someone my age. Well, I don't know about for your and age, I... but you have great skin. You have great skin. <laughs> yeah, like... I, I wish she had left it at just the halfway right. point, but you know what? She's like 70, so I will take okay. It. Okay. it. If she was like one of the 25-year-old little resident type oh, yeah. doctors then i would maybe be a little offended but we're going with it i i saw my dermatologist a few weeks ago and she told me that i could be a leg model Ooh. i said oh she said yes your your legs are so pasty <laughs> and white <laughs> Well, just, uh... and like as soon as she said it, I could tell she heard what she said, and she was just like, oh, "But when I say that, that's a compliment." <laughs> you know? Well, uh, I, I think it might be time to get that leg money. Like, <laughs> I mean, I get on the OnlyFans, well, Greg. Apparently, you have I mean, one. only legs. Only legs. <laughs> you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? If you've got yeah. the assets. 
No, it's not the assets. It's the legs. <laughs> Same difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh, we are. Uh, we've been chatting for a little while before we started streaming, so we're all. A we've been bit chatting punchy. a lot. <laughs> yes, uh, we've been mainly a lot. about adventures. Yes, adventures were had. Yes. And those of us who did not have adventures were very excited to hear about other people's adventures. A little bit jealous of other people's just, adventures. Just <laughs> and adventures apparently are afoot in the future as well. <laughs> I'm going to get kidnapped in the night. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> you are not it is going to be a by to night willingly. studio because Deebles will be ripped from her home. Well, I am in fact tall enough to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, of the of the cast, I am tall enough to actually probably pick Deebles up and carry them somewhere. So, I I will say that if you if anybody ever tries to pick me up, I automatically start freaking out because no one no one has picked me up in my life since I was a child. Right, I have that same reaction. Someone picked like someone right. picked me up once and I flailed. I put, like, put me down. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be off the fucking ground. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> My feet are supposed to be firm on the ground. I get picked up all the time. It's that's because you are too. I am I'm, five two. I'm short. Ernest is six five. I am almost six foot. Yes. You pick us up and you make us go even just a little bit higher. We're like, what the fuck? Oh, it's like when I put on high heels and then try to brush my teeth. It doesn't work. Wait. I, I don't know how those are related. Hold, hold on. I just had the same reaction. I I I think my brain's broke. <laughs> it, it does. You can't brush your teeth with high heels on. You have to use a toothbrush, not I, not the heels. I can, well, that's true. But everything feels wrong because the sink is in the wrong place. Like the if sink it, is four inches lower than it should be. If it weren't for my horse, I would have never spent that year in college. <laughs> That, that's how I feel I, about this. I also <laughs> love how Danny's like, oh, the sink is four inches too short. All sinks are too like, far down in bathrooms. But Danny it's said that, and I, I thought, I thought, oh my gosh, in in like your normal life, sinks are probably at a, like an appropriate level for you, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They like sinks give holes. me back pain. <laughs> Every I'm time spit from up here. <laughs> Every time I talk about my kitchen counters, I'm like, if I could only raise this another like half a foot, do that it. Would be fucking do it, great. coward. You own your house. Do it. That'd be fucking great. You well, need a Julia Child size kitchen. I do. Oh yeah. And here I am planning doing my kitchen again and making sure that I've got the one counter that's lower so that I can roll pastry out on it without having to get a stool. I, I I got a house recently, and my I have this beautiful marble uh, baking like place, like like you know for rolling out flour and mm -hmm. rolling out dough and everything. Like, but it's too short. It's too short. Yeah, we have yeah. opposite problems. Yeah, we could never Danny share a kitchen. <laughs> Danny and I can never live in the same house. That's that's really what it is. Yeah, no, it it just really wouldn't work. It would just have to have two separate kitchens. I, I was going to say, y'all need to live in a castle together with multiple kitchens. Or we can have a short kitchen and a tall sinks, kitchen. Right? Or I carry Danny in a baby Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's an option too, I guess. It would get me higher up. I, I, I can't even imagine somebody carrying me like that because I would freak the fuck out. Oh, that's fucking losing. Yep. Oh. Ernest and I are too big of people for people to be like, I'm just gonna pick you up. No. I had a friend in high school. His name was Big John. And God bless him. Dude was dumb as a brick and strong as five fucking oxes. I was 6'4 and 275 in high school. And this dude picked me up like I was a rag doll and ran down the street with me on his back. And, um,. I was like, fuck, this is a person who could legit kidnap me, and that's a problem. The yep. whole point of being this big is being unkidnappable, right? Like Correct. <laughs> Love it. Mm. We have short fans, too. Oh, 
we have short fans. Four eleven. Four eleven in the chat. Okay. And Danny's okay. tall. Well, so I am also the person that went, oh yeah, their average height, six feet tall. <laughs> that all of my family is basically six feet tall, so that's what I'm going off of. You're like yeah, uh, giants. Yeah, I I very rarely think about what average height is. Like I have some friends, they're like, you know I'm average height, or I'm like, are you? Are what, you? Is, what is that? <laughs> Like, I love Ernest the... makes me feel short, which is impressive. Crazy. That's, a, that's yeah. an accomplishment. Yeah. 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 Like, ev- even the three inch heels that I wore through two meetings last week would not even come close to the height of Ernest. Wow. You have I mean, to dress up for corporateness. Uh, yes, because I don't have flats that are dress shoes, because after a guy that I was trying to see told me that I shouldn't wear heels, I went, and fuck off. Yeah. That does mean that if I ever have to go to an event that Ernest went to, I will be wearing three-inch heels. I'm telling you, you need to LARP corporate, corporate DB. Ivy, can I dress better than what corporate DB wears? Because I don't dress well for work. I mean, you can you can dress however you want. I actually am uh, partially obligated to take a couple LARPers uh, on a sh- like I'm not paying, but like taking them on a shopping trip because like they saw me at the Vegas event. They're like, oh, we like you, you dress you you dress really cool. Like, and I say, well, we could go shopping. I guess I would one thousand percent go shopping with you. Because I would need clothes if I went to an event like that. Fuck, let's do it. I have a striped jacket that I could wear that is definitely not Beetlejuice, but it is. um, That I could wear to an event like that, and that's about it. That's not true. I also have the outfit that I wore to cast party for Netherworld. Um, I gotta get a better bodysuit. That's the problem. A girl my size... The bodysuit, I sat down, the snaps were the crotches went, oh no, hit me. Oh, I went, oh, it is not made for a tall. It is not made for a tall. But goddamn. That's also, my sad. After wearing that thing, so. Yeah, that, that sounds bad. It is what it is. Um, I. I, the nice thing is, is I did find out that I could wear it without it being clipped. So, and it still looked good. So there is the small miracles. Yeah, let's go shopping. Let's go to let's go to L.A. Let's fucking vampire it up. I, I'd be so cool, man. We took a vote. We did. We took a vote. Yeah, we, we did take a vote. vote. Listen, if you all want to pay for all my shit to get there. I'm and, back. You know, look, I mean, that's what streams, Patreons, and anything else are for, right? Get Devils to LA. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You just have to make a make some fan commitments to making some content while you're having fun. I I would one thousand percent make content while I'm having fun. That's the whole point. Well, there you go. See. What well, well, I hear everybody on the stream is that we gotta get Devils to LA, so to to pretend to be a vampire. To pretend to be a vampire who is there working persona during the day. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for. It. Yeah, we'll make it happen, Deebs. I don't know if I could be corporate me without being at work. All right, we'll find a whole new Deebles to to turn you into, or whatever. Oh. You'll be great. All of my characters are as sassy as I am. Great. We do, That's not a bad Mabel. thing. You can be Mabel Jean. We are not being Mabel Jean. That is my grandmother's name. <laughs> Mabel Jean. Hey, I'll bring out Nelitha. Good. I could show I could show up as my vampire character. I have some. See, you got vampire characters. I this sounds like a win to me. Half the work is already done. Let's go. Here Just go. bring Ernest to my house and go, okay, what do you think about this outfit? Yeah, absolutely. How about this one? 
Yeah, absolutely. I'm down for that. <laughs> I love that you have outfits. I do because I I do like to dress up. The problem is is I don't like to dress up for work. <laughs> That's fair. I have uniforms and I have leggings and t-shirts. <laughs> Listen, I have I have a lot of like really fun so I have I have one of my favorite pair of pants. I don't wear them wear them a lot. I wish I did. Are they look polka dotted? But if you look close enough, they're Mickey Mouse. Nice. But they're suspended and they cross in the back. And oh, I usually wear them with like a button shirt and some sort of like bralette under it. Huh? Kind of thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. I do have a whole stack of corsets because I was really into corset story hey? for a while. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what to wear with them, though. That's what Ernest comes in for. There we go. We'll just have to, we'll have to do, like, outfit days. But maybe not on a knitting stream. <laughs> no. No, we're, no, we're, no. We're way off track today, but that's okay. We, and this is what the, this stream is, is us dicking around. <laughs> talking about life. True. And whatever Ernest is up to. We're going to start having these things where it's just like, where in the world is hollow? <laughs> we, we, we need the hollow update. <laughs> to the uh, Carmen San Diego theme song. Hanging with hollow. Hanging yeah, with so hollow. Oh. I guess that means my next suit has to be a big red suit then. Yes. Yeah, with a hat. Be, with be a careful because you're breaching onto like Santa Claus. <laughs> hey. <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna get some satin. Uh, I'm gonna get some uh, some satin uh, loafers. So if Santa Claus ain't dressing like this, <laughs> nice. Well, also it's true. Every girl's crazy about a sharp dressed man. All we have to do is start dropping pictures of Erna or of Hollow in the discords. It's true. Mm -hmm. So true. So true. Are you long enough yet, for fuck's sake? Well, that seems like someone has knitting to talk wow. about. <laughs> I hope you've got knitting to Damn talk it. about. I you hope that's knitting. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, let me look down. Are you long enough now? Hi, Mom. I hope you're not watching today. <laughs> Your oh, mom gosh. knows what she's getting into. Oh, or... She has learned, yes. She knows what to expect with us, I think. Where did it go? Oh, I say that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, D man. DB's over there just doing her knitting daddy impersonation. That's, <laughs> yep, that's my it. My stitch marker. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> Well, since DB's fixing stuff, so I got else it. Oh, you did got it. Okay, you I found it. it. Picked yes. it all back up. Yes, it's not long enough. I will gesture to what I was talking about. <laughs> you want to talk about it? So, um, <laughs> so Ren Fair is in like a week from Saturday. So what am I doing? Not working on Renfair stuff. Instead, I'm working on a thing that I'm supposed to have done by Saturday. Because I overcommitted myself. Why? Because I'm a dumbass. But here we are. I mean, that's what we do. Uh, it's a dice bag. Everybody knows they love my dice bag. They don't love them. They're kind of boring. But oh, uh, I told the friend cool. it's that sparkly. I would make them. Maybe that's what I should do. Help Deebles get to L.A. by... Buying her dice bags. Yeah. Yes. Who need to vote? No. <laughs> oh, is Danny counting? No, she no like Danny's she's not counting. counting. Uh. Danny is coloring today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so. So, do you, is this a dice bag of your own design? patterning um, no like actually reciping. this is a very simple design that danny made up because back when oh, i started yeah. knitting i was like oh i wonder if we can knit dice bags and danny went yeah let me 
do a thing up for you. So this is a Dan Danny original. Uh, before she made her spacer one that has all the spaces in there. Um, the divided dice bag. Yeah, this is a very just a very <clears throat> simple giant bag. Uh, you could technically wear it as a hat. You know, sometimes you need an emergency um, hat. I think Grundu wore his as a hat after I made it for him. That for sounds a while. accurate. <laughs> yeah. And I did that. I did that at con. Like you did. I did it at the convention. You were fast. Um, yeah. These don't take very long. Like these ones only take me. If if I didn't have to work and do all that jazz, actually, most of this was knitted during like a three hour meeting. Nice. Um, yeah, it doesn't take long, but it just. I I I told a friend who was like, "Man, I need more space for my dice." I went, "Do you know? <laughs> I can help with I this. I can help with that. that. Yeah. So um, it's a very it's teal and has like blue sparklies in it." Um, which I'm gonna trim like some it. of these because they're sticking out in weird places, but yeah. I look down. Yeah, I say that when I look down too. <sighs> oh dear. Have you uh, made any more progress on your apron? Yes. Um, pocket is done. Um, body of apron is done. I just need to do the waistband. Nice. Yeah. So you're like almost done. Yes, except I need to knit a um, bandana. Oh, I don't well, that think that's going to get done in time. Quick and easy, though. I don't think so. A bandana? I don't think so, Dana. Dana? Dana? <laughs> I'm having a stroke! <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Denny. No? No, I don't... Pattern I got for it isn't a very, like, quick pattern... Do you um, also want a father, fancy pattern or do you just want a quick pattern? Kind of wanted a fancy one. Oh, okay. But I should probably just do a quick one for this first one and then and then do fancy a it up for one. your next version. Correct. Because I think this character that I'm being for Ren Fair in 2 weeks is a little in a ladrin so okay. that I can f change up colors and whatnot as seasons go through. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. So where you are with the apron, does that incorporate the modifications you needed to make? And did those work out? Yes. That's yes. awesome. We yes. like that. Um, I actually finished the body of the apron Halloween, so I've fallen behind when it comes to the waistband. But once I have the waistband done, all I have to do is sew it all together and it should be good. Now, the thing that I have not done is made more kobolds. So those will be a later problem for Deedles. That's okay. I I am, speaking of kobolds, I'm currently working on a modified kobold pattern to be done with worsted weight yarn. Big so, boys. No, same size boys, but fatter yarn. So they'll be faster. So faster boys. Faster boys. Can we also get bigger boys? Well, if you want bigger boys, just bigger needles, bigger yarn, same pattern. Danny, I'm bad at that. Well... Use worsted and size six needles, but do the exact same pattern. Okay. You know what? You're right. It was so funny because one of my friends was like, oh, what if you just used like bigger yarn or bigger needles? And I went, oh, that's not how that really works. Um, it would still take me the same amount of time. Yep. Because the pattern stitches would be the same. It would just and they're be like, bigger. It would just be bigger. And they're like, oh. I don't know anything about knitting, so. And that's okay. Not everyone has yeah. to know about knitting yet. yet. Yet? Look, I have a mission. That's the other thing that I'm really worried about. I would go to one of these events with Ernest. I'd just be crazy knitting in the corner. If I don't I mean, see them, they don't see me! So, funny you say that. So, knitting story from uh, the event, we uh, encountered some hunters, or some burgeoning hunters. They were all... It was kind of like watching Critznitz in reverse, because I was actually a player watching, you know. But these NPCs were all a knitting circle. 
who he decided to um, turn turning themselves into hunters. They wanted to hunt vampires, and they came to the gathering, and and like very nice uh, old women decided to suss out if we were really bad enough to hunt, and they all sat at the table knitting with wooden knitting needles that were stakes. I love that so much. <laughs> I want to be them. Oh my God, that's amazing. Were they actually knitting, Ernest? Yeah, they were out. They oh. were all. They were all knitting. They had wooden knitting needles, and we were told in character that they were all actually modified stakes, and that they were just trying to suss us out and see if vampires were as really bad as they as they thought before trying to uh, kill us. Amazing. What did they determine? They determined that some of us were all right, but they'd be watching. Fair enough. I love that so That's much. That's accurate. That is that is fantastic. I love it. There were a group of vampires during the event who were just scared shitless as these these wonderful old ladies all sat at the table. Just... Beautiful. Love it. The mm -hmm. nice thing about doing dice bags is I don't have to like really count so I can talk and do this at the same time. Right. Um, Cause if you did mention having to count, Greg would tell us all the numbers he knows. Correct. But this is so easy for me to like do so quickly as well. Um, these are probably my projects that I take to like events so that I can talk to people and knit at the same time. <laughs> so you can talk to people if you want to or have an Correct. excuse to avoid them. Correct. Do, do, yep. do, do, do. Well, who else has stuff they've been working on? I am working on a hat. What else is new? It's not socks. That's true. Socks, hat, mm -hmm. same difference. They cover one of your parts well, of your body. They go on different ends of the body. Yes, they do. Yes. <laughs> so here, here's my hat. Uh, so like this. Um, this is a uh, Varian Brandon Brandon design. Um, I took a class from her last uh, spring at the Carolina Fiber Fest, a color work class. And I, I made a hat like this for myself, and I love it. And I am making this for uh, one of the folks at work, who is the chief architect at work. And so I modified the pattern to write chief architect uh, on the hat so that he's going to have to wear it, and it will be embarrassing for him, and it will be a lot of fun that. for everyone else. That um, is always I was fun. talking with some people earlier tonight, uh, showing them this and they were like oh what a suck up I said yes but it's a very passive aggressive sucking up because it's going to be annoying and he's going to feel obligated it's going to be great um, but yeah so it's a but it's a lot of fun and uh, I, right now I'm, I'm knitting the lining the hat like right oh. here it breaks and so this, it's going to get folded over Oh, do we get to see your beautiful floats before it gets folded over? Yeah, you can see my floats this time. I've got, and I will take pictures of them this time. Because, like, the last time I made this hat, I had beautiful floats and didn't take pictures. And I could cut it open and look. But, but yeah, so I got my, nice. my beautiful floats. And these also have beautiful jacquard floats um, for where I had the words because I had to carry floats for longer distances. Right. And uh, so, yeah, so that, that's in that. Um, but like up here, like such beauty, such beauty, beauty, grace. Miss United she States. She is beautiful. She is beauty, she is grace. Yes. And um, yeah, so so I was working on that this and oh, just dropped some stitches because I Don't flipped it that. inside out. but. Picked them up, picked them back up. I'm good. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I will, I will take a little bit of a diversion from the knitting, uh, but tie it in because I was knitting on this earlier today when I was at a chili cook-off. <laughs> and uh, 
it was um yeah it was fun the the like the pool and racket club had a chili cook off today and it's actually raining tonight so only about a dozen people showed up there were only three chilies oh, that wow. showed up um i should have driven the greg and just made did you win son i did yeah um yes it was a shared it was a shared victory uh i tied with one of the other chilies um so so well, yes but all the, the kids chili. what i feel bad for the third one if only three yeah i did two too tied what's to the thing is don't feel bad <laughs> for the loser well so the thing is all the chilies were really good um and uh so my chili is a recipe that i uh, got on the internet for an instant pot chili recipe and it's delicious. I've been making it for years. It, if people ask me if they should get an instant pot, I always say yes. And if the only thing you do is make this chili recipe with it, it is worth it because the chili is that good. Okay. I love it. The other one was a tre- and so and it's a mine was a ground beef based. The other one was a chorizo base, and that was that was very good as well. And then the third one was a vegetarian one, so I think it was kind of going in at a disadvantage just simply because it was vegetarian. Yeah. But it was very tasty. It was, it was my favorite. The vegetarian um, one was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. I think I think the chili I made is my real favorite, but. I have it often enough myself it's it's not novel for me anymore but this other one it was a new taste for me and I, and I really did like it but uh all the kids that were there there were about half a dozen kids there they loved the one that i did too because i don't make it spicy um oh. i finish it yeah i finish it off with some brown sugar so it's got a sweetness to it it's oh, got nice. some fish sauce in it to give it a tanginess to it and yep, some I've... soy and co- and cocoa powder and it, it's it's some good stuff wow yeah, I and I, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to it in the general chat, uh, in the Discord. Um, but so there were a dozen, maybe twenty people, fifteen people or so there, because um, it was raining, so a lower turnout. But I brought my knitting with me, and uh, it was um, uh, someone had asked me about it, uh, so I told them about you know the knitting that I do and everything, and. They were asking about you know, being able to knit while I'm on conference calls or when I'm just talking to people, much mm-hmm. like you were talking about, DB, when mm-hmm. you're when you've got stocking it in the round, basically, yep. just just go and everything. And they were all like, "You should knit me some socks." And I'm like, "Well, first of all, I don't even know. Uh, you. I don't. I first don't of even all, fuck you." <laughs> right. I was like, "I don't even remember your name." And. Uh, but then, but like, like I pointed out, I was like, hey, well, like, like the socks I'm wearing right now, the yarn was $35 and there's about 40 yep. hours of labor in it. Yep. And they're like, oh, I said, yeah, when people ask me about making socks, I said, the prices start at $500 and yep. that's usually enough to dissuade them. And yep. I, but honestly, like if someone said they'd pay me $500 for socks, I, I think I might make them. Oh yeah. If you pay me $500, I'll make you socks for $500. Right. You pay yes. up front. But right. <laughs> yes, and I get to choose the yarn, uh, or you know, I get I, get, I at least get veto power yeah. over your yarn. Um, yeah, if they're so, black, they're going to be substantially more uh, because yeah, plain here's, black it, socks are really hard to see. Here's least, the thing: I would also be. say that uh, if 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 you're going to pay you five hundred dollars, I would trust you to do the yarn because, yeah. like, I, I, lay somebody who doesn't know about right. knitting is going to pick something like something oh. stupid so something that's some not dishcloth cotton right something that's <laughs> not like what i would suggest is like oh hey what colors do you want right and if they're like i want all black you could just go go buy them at walmart go to walmart yes yeah if you want yeah, I, fun I would... socks yeah. Okay. So I would be like, okay, like people look at the socks I wear. They're like, I want socks like that. I was like, okay, well, yeah. I can I can get you that. I'll say, here are a couple of yarns. Pick which one you want. Yes. You know, something like that. Yeah. So, so yes. Uh, anyway, it was a fun time at the chili cook-off. What was not fun was making the chili for it. Because I made it twice. Oh. Um, I made it uh, last night. And... I've been making this recipe for years and it's delicious. Everyone always loves it. 
And uh, so, and I made a double batch because when I make it for other people, I always make twice as much. And I'd finished the first batch and uh, Blueberry came in and she wanted some chili for supper. So I was like, yeah, absolutely. Get some chili. And so um, I hadn't even tried it yet. And she says, um, she got some, was very excited about it. She took a bite, says, oh, this tastes a little different than usual. It's very formal. Please, what the fuck does that formal mean? Formal chili. Formal chili. I said, I said, oh the chili no, it's is... corporate formal. <laughs> That's right. It's corporate, corporate said, chili. Formal? What does what does that mean? She's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just formal. It's it's a very it it is very formal. I said okay, all right. At this point, I was in the middle of getting the stuff prepared for the other batch I was going to make. I hadn't, hadn't tried it yet. It's going to be another five, 10 or 15 minutes before I got a chance to try it. And so I asked, so I was like, okay, that's fine. But she, she got her bowl, went to the other room to eat it and everything. And um, so then I um, I got a break in my chili making and I got myself a bowl and I tried it and to try to figure out what formal chili meant. And I was like, uh, I don't know what's formal about it. But it sure is salty. Ooh. It is. It is super salty. Okay. And uh, so I went into the other room where I, where I found her, and she was actually not eating the chili. She had set it aside, and I said, "Oh, are you? Uh, are, are you, you going fish chili? I'm taking a break. It's so formal." <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I have to take a break from it. I said. When you say formal, do you, you really mean salty? Maybe, maybe. I said, because I think it's really salty. She, yeah, it is so salty. And so I think she was just kind of... Trying to spare your feelings? I think it's exactly what was happening and everything. And so I so I tried, I kept eating some more. And the more I ate, the saltier it was. Oh, no. And it was, I, I was thinking, oh, my goodness. I cannot bring this chili to a chili cook-off. I've never participated in a chili cook-off. This was my first chili cook-off. I cannot bring this chili to a chili cook-off. Yeah. And um, I said, and I already had the other batch going. It was going to be another 30 minutes before it was done. So I said, oh, it's it's going to be. And so so here, here's here's what the, the problem was, is uh, chicken broth is one of the ingredients in the chili, unsalted chicken broth. And I usually buy that from the grocery store, but um, at the church they're making they've been making chicken pies, and Meredith got some of the chicken broth, you know, from the chicken pie making and brought it home, and was we were going to freeze it and you know just so that we have some chicken broth on on um, hand and everything. So I asked if I could use some, which absolutely go ahead for it. Didn't even occur to me that this was chicken broth that was uh, collected after the chickens had been seasoned Ooh. with salt and other seasoning and everything. So instead of unsalted chicken broth, I had heavily seasoned chicken broth plus the salt that I added to the chili when I was making the beef. So it, there's like... And, and the fish sauce and everything else and the yeah. all umami flavor there, heavily salted. Yeah, yeah that's going to... Yeah, that's, gonna, yeah, that's, that's a wall gonna... of salt at that point. <laughs> The and, and so the salt, it, the salt blinded every other flavor in it. It just tasted like salty beef, and it was. So we've got some left over from the cook off because like not many people showed up. I'm thinking I'm gonna maybe try to combine what I have with some of the salty one, and you know maybe it'll help unsalt it. So maybe like a two to one ratio <laughs> or a three to one ratio or something. You know? Dropping a couple of of like you know potatoes in that actually helps uh -huh. balance it out. You can fish them out later, but like yeah. just like a couple whole potatoes and like do or like a re stew and then like just and pull them out. That usually helps a bit. I might do that. That is worth knowing. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. It's finally long enough. Yes. Now I have to count. So Gregory. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness say my oh, name he missed it <laughs> Gregora. Tell, tell E who won he did oh uh, yeah. 
Yes. He tied. Greg Greg won. Uh, he tied with another one. There were three chilies, so one chili was a loser. Yeah, but it was it was a good taste in chili. It lost because it didn't have any meat in it. You got to have the meat if you're going to win. But it was it was it was a delightful taste. So as oh, a, the, oh, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Nope. No, you first. No, nope. you mm-hmm. first. Mm-hmm. Okay, I can fine. hold out. Yep. All right, I know you can. You are a holder outer, um, and. Uh, but the other ch- yeah i'm confused too uh so th- but the other chili that i tied that i have a shared victory with the person who brought it didn't even make it oh i was like okay how's that even work was so it, it turned like, out that someone else friend or family no, it, it was homemade it? okay okay yeah it was it was homemade so someone else who used to be a member at the pool knew that we were having this chili thing going on and his wife was traveling and she was friends with the person who brought the chili. They were talking about it and everything. And she said, oh my gosh, Johnny is at home alone. He needs 7, 8, 12, 14, 54. He, <laughs> he, he, needs, he needs something to do to keep him out of trouble. Well, he'll make chili for you. He'll make his chili recipe and then you can just bring it. Because he, he was going to come, but then his wife came home and is going out of town first thing in the morning so they stayed home so he didn't even come but he made the chili but someone else brought it so that's like a that's like a proxy sort of thing yeah. it's, it's all fishy not as fishy as my fish sauce but still fishy still fishy <laughs> still fishy so i'm taking a win i'm, I'm claiming the win and uh, it was delicious the kids love it mine was the only one people asked for the recipe for nice. uh it, it it was it was good good times the kids loved it there's one kid she was five Aww. she went back for they were in styrofoam cups is what they sort of said they gave us little ramekins to taste them with and then once you decided which one you wanted for your main chili meal you get a big styrofoam cup she went back and refilled that cup twice so she had like three styrofoam cups full of my chili so i'm yes. taking that as a win it's like five-year-old picky eater kid approved that's also a lot of beef for a kid it's to a consume yeah. in one sitting yeah. Yeah, I I tend to make venison chili, um, but I velvet my venison before uh, to make sure it's extra tender. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, there's a little chili talk there. No, it was not store chili. Uh, All the chili was homemade, uh, and uh, it was all delicious. I had some of all of it, and when I got my cup, I got a big cup of the vegetarian chili, because I knew I would be coming home with my own chili, which I love. Um, yeah. And I can always make more if I ever want to. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so after uh, after having the super formal salty chili last night, I went back to the grocery store just before they closed to buy ingredients to make it again. I was too tired to make it last night, so I got up early this morning and made made two batches this morning. This was what I took this afternoon. Yeah, yeah I'd like to try That's my chili recipe. story. Little bit of knitting. I'm sorry, go ahead, Artis. Yes, I'd I like to try out your recipe, actually. I have to I have to cook for my D&D game this weekend, and uh, I usually cook a big pot of something or something that's yeah. easy to make in, in bulk. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I'd, I'd actually like to try your chili recipe. I will definitely drop it in the Discord. I'll drop the link to it. Nice. Um, it was good. So, little diversion from knitting talk there, except that that's okay. I did bring my knitting because I'm an introvert in social situations, and I was by myself because Blueberry and Meredith were at Blueberry's dance class, so totally by myself with a bunch of strangers and so of course i pull out my knitting and then you know people asked about it and i told them about knitting preemie hats and Mm -hmm. my other podcast and pass out my designer cards and all that stuff and everything so nice well cool 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 have you uh been doing any knitting Ernest? um mostly aimless relaxing knitting um nice. just like best i haven't I, i've like i haven't committed myself to another pattern i've just kind of been sitting around just like how do i purl better how do i you know you know how do i do like stitch arounds and stuff like that like practicing is more like practicing techniques and less just doing a thing okay i mm, like that nothing wrong with that that's that's like good way to approach it and nice relaxing way to 
You know, I've got plenty. I, I found a bunch of yarn at a yard sale like last year or maybe two years ago. And I said, you know, uh, let's. I've, I've unpacked it since I've moved, and I said, hey, you know, let's uh, let's let's try this. Okay. Well, cool. All right. So, Danny, are you coloring knitting things? <laughs> no, I'm I'm coloring Laura Olympus. I'll show you that in a minute. But I have been working on. Oh, I stopped in the middle of a row because. This is what I was working on at the uh, at the dermatologist this afternoon, and I knit that whole white section today because <laughs> there was a lot of waiting. And I'm not going to zip this up because I need to remember that I'm in the middle of a row and I need to finish that row. Um, so those are my Star Wars Sock Saga socks. That's the only pair of socks I've worked on since last time. the The main thing I've worked on, I'm actually not going to show because I don't trust the list of viewers and the friend that it is for sometimes watches, so it's a surprise. Oh. Um, I mean, he knows that I'm knitting a baby blanket for the new baby who is coming soon. Um, I cast it on last Wednesday, actually, just before we started the episode. And um, I'm doing a mitered square blanket. And I'm doing, like, big squares and using three colors. And I have, I'm on number two. 10 of 12 squares and then I've got um, a long border to put on one side and the bottom because the other sides will have the same color and then I'm probably going to crochet around in the accent color if I've got enough of that left so I'm a little more than halfway done so I'm working on that and I've also ordered yarn to make a hat for the mama that matches mittens that I made for her last year. But I'm waiting on the yarn for that, so I haven't cast that on. And then the other thing I've been working on, so it's just a little tiny baby cast on so far, but this is a second draft of a cup cozy. Oh. So this is my Christmas coffee cozy. And it's even got a little charm that gets put at the top of the tree so it looks like a little star. And, uh, yeah, so it's just a cute little coffee cozy. You talked about your beautiful floats. Mine sucked. Uh, you got some long floats in there. I do. And Did you worked. trap them? I did not. Uh, and the thing is, I tried a different technique. Yeah. I tried knitting it inside out so that the floats were going on the outside. Uh -huh. And my floats were worse than any of my floats have ever been ever before in the history of my floats. So that sucked. And I know now that for me, knitting inside out does not make floats looser. It, it works for a lot of people, apparently. But right. I've heard that. I've never tried it. it. Yeah, it does not work for me. And that's okay. But this is stretchy enough that I can get it over a coffee cup. Um, so I'm going to do that and have it to display at my local yarn shop. Um, but she, we have a, a deal worked out where I give them a certain number of free copies. Well, free for them, copies of my pattern. And they in turn give me the yarn for the next one. <laughs> Because this is knit with uh, many skeins. Right. So two mini skeins, and it actually only takes about half of each. So I can get two sets or two coffee cozies out of one set of mini skeins. So it all I love the nicely. little I love the little accent star on the yeah, tree. I was so happy with that. Um, the the yarn shop sells these as kits. And so these ones, um, I actually picked up a bunch of these stars at uh, Joanne. And so the kits will have the little stars in them so that you can add awesome. them in. And this pattern yeah. is officially going to be released next Saturday. So the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And um, it it's now a series because the first one I still have in here was my pumpkin coffee cozy. Mm -hmm. And I'm still trying to figure out the exact 
way that Ravelry works, but um, basically setting up so that if you purchase one of the coffee cozies at full price, you can enter a coupon code to get any of my future coffee cozies at half price because the instructions are exactly the same except for you just the, like the chart. Yeah. So I don't want people to have to pay full price for the exact same thing and just a separate chart. Right. So I thought that was a more fair way to do it. You buy one and then you're basically buying charts for the rest. Yeah. So, but yeah, that will be released on Saturday. So I will pop a link to that in Discord when it is released. What? And I've been coloring because DB and I talked about Laura Olympus last week and had our Laura Olympus coloring books. And so I'm coloring a picture of Hera and having fun with that. So I've been coloring on that off and on for the whole week. Because coloring is fun. Coloring is fun. Yeah, well, that, that's what I've got. A baby blanket, a coffee cozy, and socks. Works for me. And that's enough, yeah. Yeah. But now I want to see if I can make more kobolds to give to DB. Because maybe if I make some, I can convince her to make plans to see me so I can give them to you, so you can give them away. Uh, I would love to do that. I don't think it's this trip. I have, like, back-to-back -back everything. everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, that's fine. I just like to tease you about guilting you into stuff. If I didn't have Werewolf on Sunday, I would do oh. it, but... I have Werewolf on Sunday and Fun. Ren Fair the day before and day before that I'm physically driving to do it. Yeah. That, that's many drivings. Yeah. Where is she there? I hit my knee real hard on my desk. Oh, ow. Sorry. I also hope that I made enough eyelets. Oh, I'm sure you did. I don't know, Danny. So if you didn't, you can just cut, cut your yarn to make new ones. <laughs> and blasphemy. I'm I'm looking at your giant box of polyfill. What about it? Where did you get that? The Joanne's. Joanne's. Okay. Why? Well, remember how I started that puff quilt? Gosh, it was correct. Several episodes ago that I. Do you want me to bring you the polyfill? <laughs> well, I'm going to have to buy at least that amount to fill it because uh, I bought more squares or more fabric that I've cut into squares and sewn up. But yeah, I need to um, stuff it. <laughs> Joanne's okay. I, was several years ago, so I don't know how much it would be now. That is about five pounds. Five pounds. Yeah. Okay. And I say about because I've used some of it. Yeah. There's also a little 4. part of 8 that's, pounds. that's thinking maybe I should also get like some of those pellets and then make myself a weighted blanket. Uh, oh. Those things are such a pain in the ass. The pellets? Yeah. Yeah. They have exploded like all over my house. Oh no. I, I will warn you that uh, the pellet weighted blankets tend to care if your dogs are at all smelly ever. They... They tend to hold on to that for whatever reason. Okay. So. That is good to know. That is good to know. And honestly, if I shove five pounds of polyfill in there, that's kind of a heavy blanket, too. Correct. It's at least five pounds. <laughs> that's how it works. It <laughs> it's probably closer to six when you add in the fabric. Yes. So, uh, Greg was telling us about his chili, and then I had to zone out to count because he was being a motherfucker. <laughs> Literally. And I, uh, I have to tell my chili cook-off story. Um, oh, my mom, yeah. uh, used to work, you know, at our office. I was not working for the company that I work for at this time. I was a contractor to them, and they did a, like, cook-off a uh, chili cook-off on their floor for Harvest for Hunger. Uh, for Harvest for Hunger is to raise money for hunger and all that jazz. It's a charity thing that we used to do. 
Um, we still try to do it. It's kind of harder to do it when you work remote. Um, but she, I found this recipe online and was like, hey, mom, I think you should enter this. It looks like it would be a good one. I don't eat chili. I'm not a fan of it. It's just not a thing that I'm, I like. Okay. And so she enters it. She wins. There's nice. a very competitive man on that floor named Chewy. Chewy? Oh, Chewy. 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 Um, and he is instantly mad at my mom. And he's, she's like, well, you can blame DB. It's her recipe. And he's oh. like, what the fuck? And then we had a mac and cheese cook-off later. And once again, I couldn't be involved because I wasn't working for the company and I didn't work on that floor. And so, ow, something got stuck in my foot. Always an important part of mac and cheese making. Sorry, no. <laughs> Literally, like... <laughs> Oh, I know. I'm Something. just being a smart ass. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, so hey, um, thanks for picking up my slack, Danny. Um, <laughs> mom won again, and he's like, "What the fuck?" And he's like, "Wow!" And she's like, "You're gonna hate me." Uh, this was once again DB's recipe, and he's like, "She doesn't even work on this. <laughs> she doesn't even she go does. here. She, she doesn't, doesn't even go, go here. here." Um, but. He was very competitive, and I used to beat him at a lot of things. I'm not as competitive as he was, so um, I once beat him at his favorite board game, and then he never played it again. Oh, gosh. Yes. Okay. What board game is like, it? like, buddy. Uh, Betrayal on In the House on the Hill? Yeah. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Um... There's a scenario in there where you have to escape the house as it's being like picked up by a bird, and everybody was fighting for this for a parachute, and I was like, "I'm not gonna escape. There's no way. Everybody's on this side of the house." But he starts running towards where I am with the parachute, and I go, "Oh, I'm taking that from you." And I took the parachute. He went to get it from me again, rolled all blanks. And I escaped. And he was mad about it. Aww. So he and he wouldn't talk to me for a while. And I don't do well when people do things like that to me, because then I feel bad. Poor Chewy. Poor poor T B. Oh Chewy can I I worry about his children. <laughs> He's too competitive. I'm like, oh buddy. Sometimes a game is just a game. Yeah, he then beat me at one of my favorite board games and was like, well, now we're friends again because I beat you at your favorite. And I was like, okay. Except and you still, that makes do you me still not play your favorite you. board game? I do, yeah. I, I haven't yeah. played it in a while because I don't have a lot of people that like want to play it. Yeah. Um, but What board game is that? Uh, it is called... You would ask me this. Oh, it's your favorite, so certainly you know. It's been a hot minute, and there's two different <laughs> versions of it. So there's one for, called Escape from Oak Hill, and then the other one is the uh, Slashers, I think. So one of them you play as, like, survivors, and the other one you play as monsters from, like, 80s horror movies. Nice. Uh, like, ripoffs of them. Uh, and then you could stick the two boards together and have 16 people play as either the monsters or the survivors. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So whenever we get together again, I will bring these games so we can play them. I just okay, have to... Proof. They're they're sitting in my house. I just haven't played them in a while. I also have knitting the board game that we can play if we want to. What the fuck is that? It's it's a board game about knitting and it's got a whole bunch of like popular patterns and designers and mm -hmm. you have to collect the and yarns, fancy yarns, and you have to collect the the designer and the pattern and the yarn that you need to make your project. Have you ever played the, that game? I have not because me either. I got it just it arrived after the last in-person retreat that I went to. 
Wow. Like it was a Kickstarter and it, it right. literally showed up to my house like a week after I got home from the retreat. I, I think I have that game too. I, I have two knitting games and I think I have that one. Um, and I have another one. I haven't played either of them and I would love to at some point. Yeah. Next re the people knitting in my retreat. House aren't as worried. Yeah, I'll next time Crits and Knits gets together, I'll bring the knitting board game. I am I'm not much of a board game person. No. That's okay. Mm -hmm. But you you're knit. allowed to be wrong. Okay. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Sorry, Danny, I love you. Wow. Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. Have you met me, Greg? I'm uh... I, indeed, I, indeed I have, and there's the mean deeps we all know and love. Well, I kind should of stop. Kind Ooh. of love. It's fine. Nah, you we love, love you. Just like we love this whiny, whiny puppy. What is up with you? I was like, I thought you were about to say this whiny, whiny Greg, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, a herder's the whiny guy. Greg's not too whiny. Greg's pretty whiny. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. that was a thing that I needed oh, to watch. Go ahead. I won bingo today at work. Nice. So you Did you beat won. Chewy? <laughs> oh, Chewy doesn't work with me anymore. <laughs> oh. What did you say? Or, or... So you are old. <laughs> did we... So uh, I am a part of uh, our, one of our clubs uh, at work, and it's the LGBTQ plus club, and they brought a drag queen on, and we played bingo, and I won. And I beat out one guy that really just grinds my fucking gears. <laughs> So I was very happy. Nice. I was like, yeah. We like drives that for you. I, he drives me crazy. He's so negative. We don't like negatives. We like, I'm like pretty negative, but god damn. Yeah. Well, I did want to make sure that I told our viewers about the thing that we're doing with our game. So... You may have noticed that we are four tonight instead of six, and we have been less than six quite frequently lately because life yeah. is lifing. <laughs> Do be life hard time Very hard. And, um, but we have some plans coming up. And in the next few weeks, we're going to be recording some game sessions. And during those game sessions, uh, we're going to be wrapping up the sort of interludes of the games, the, the end of the campaign officially uh, we did okay. end it but we we had loose ends to tie up so we're going to be tying up some loose ends um so once all of that is recorded you can expect us to still be doing our our knitting section live um but the second half will be um pre-recorded game so that um you can actually get some game because schedules are scheduling and we're we're breaking it up into smaller groups and but it's going to be good. It's going to be fun. Wait, I've got plans what? Already. We're splitting the party? We're splitting the party. It's going to be fantastic. I mean, you guys thoroughly whomped the, the bad guy when you were all in a group. So Aww. I'm sure it's going to be just as easy when you're broken up into smaller groups. He had it coming. And your, your uh, little uh, counter spell machine. I was going to say, you, you lost the dude who does counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we're gonna kidnap him and bring him back, and then you have to play two characters, Greg. <laughs> oh, gosh. That will not well, then you, then, you will, then you will find whiny Greg. <laughs> <laughs> We've already found him. We invited Arr! him to play with us. <laughs> oh, now we found pirate Greg. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. I, I, I think it, there's some good stuff around the corner there, and I'm excited to be able yeah. to put in this content in um, front of our people again soon. Your bitch-ass child should, yeah. uh, not your actual child, but the child you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Uh, wow. I I'm glad you clarified. He also knows fucking Counterspell. Yeah. I don't remember if he does. I don't think he does. You better fucking pick up that spell before we play again. 
I don't think that's gonna matter to you, DB. What the fuck does that mean? Oh wait, it might. I don't think you're. Am I not involved? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm no, trying to remember how the party split. is going to split. Yeah, You'll figure it, it out. It, It'll be fine. Yeah, I think I'm so. I'm there on Monday. It's on my calendar. Is that <laughs> not the bitch child? <laughs> is it just me and Erasmus? What's happening? <laughs> You'll figure it out. Is Erasmus going to break my bones to make sure I'm not a bird? Is this yes. yes. going to the end? Finally, <laughs> just no with one can stop me from finding out if you're a bird. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out there's not really a necromancer. It's, it's all a big ploy. Erasmus. <laughs> Erasmus and the bird bone test. <laughs> That's it. It's building to this. I'm about to get the people's elbow. <laughs> oh, fantastic, fantastic. Oh. Well. It was Erasmus all along. <laughs> Long. <laughs> I need to catch up on that. That's fine. I'll get there. But oh God! I think I think that's it for us for tonight. I think so. This was delightful. Thank you, friends. Yeah. Thank you. Me. We do plan to Did be you back. Say most of us. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> we plan to be back in two weeks for another knits and knits. Do we? Are we? That'll be the first week of December. Oh Dates are hard. I don't have a I don't calendar know how open. Calendars work. Yeah, it should be the first week of December. Okay. Um Grand. And we'll see how how our combat uh play sessions run. Um we may or may not have uh something to stream then. We'll let you know, but we will at least be back talking about our knitting for a while. Yes. Until well, bye. Then, happy knitting. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.